What's going on, people? We are Tottenham TV back here for another predicted lineup for the last pre season friendly just before the Premier League kicks off in a week's time. A week today, uh, the Premier League will be kicking off, and Tottenham will be just over a week against Man City at the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium next Sunday. Uh, but it's very interesting. We've got a North London derby pre season mm. to get excited about. Look, it's not a friendly. We'll just call it a pre-season because it's not a friendly. It's never going to be a friendly against Arsenal, is it? Definitely not. I want to win this. I want to <laughs> win the game. I ain't taking no defeat. Definitely not. Um, Got to keep wanna... up a 100% exactly. record at the stadium against them lot. Got to keep our unbeaten run going as well on pre-season. <laughs> Nuno, no, no, yet to taste defeat, Nuno. <laughs> what a manager. Um, so, look, I'm looking forward to it. If, if the last game's anything to go by, it should be good fun, whatever happens. So... Mm. I'm looking forward to um, hopefully a few goals, good game of football, and we can take that trophy home, the Mine, mine Series <laughs> trophy. Bring it home, lads. Uh, all right, well, let's get into the predicted lineup. There's no real team news. Nuno hasn't done a press conference or anything like that. But one thing is we do know is Harry Kane is not there. Definitely not. Uh, but we're going for a 4 2 3 1 I formation. Heard he's got a little niggling injury. Yeah, yeah niggling yeah, yeah, injury. Yeah, exactly. They keep him out the first few games of the season. Um, 4 2 3 1 formation in goal. Uh, Golini, after his very impressive uh, decision, Display mm. um, in the Chelsea game. Um, yeah. He gets yeah. He goes straight in there. Alfie Whiteman on the bench. Lloris with an injury. Yeah, look, yeah. Look, we know Lloris isn't fit to play, and I think Golini um, it will settle his nerves. The performance he had against Chelsea he made a number of saves, arguably man of the match in that game. So he comes in for this one for sure. Um, and in the back four at right back, we're going to stick with Matt Doherty. I mean, Aurier did come on in the last game, but. Um, it's quite evident that he is looking for his route out of Tottenham, so I expect Matt Doherty to play this one. Yeah, I think um, I didn't, he didn't have the best of games, Matt Doherty, but I thought he, um, I thought there's another option, is there? Because always we want him to we unless want we play gone. a pastoxy or something, but I can't nah, see it. Nah, now we Doherty. I think Nuno right now, seeing as Doherty's very likely to stay, he has to kind of give like give him belief and trust. Mm. So he can't be disrespecting him like that in these yeah. games. So I think Doherty's got to play. Um, centre-back partnership uh, on the right-hand side. We're going to go for a Joe Roden to have his first outing of mm. pre-season. Obviously, he came back late uh, because of Wells' escapades at the Euros, uh, had a very good Euros, and hopefully he could carry on that form into uh, his Tottenham career. Yeah, he was on the bench last time against Chelsea. He didn't really get on the pitch, but hopefully um, it's, with Tanganga, you know, we're not sure what's going on with him at the moment. He might be going on loan and stuff. Um, I imagine... We want to probably get Roden up to speed as quickly as possible as he's a very decent chance he could well feature against Man City. So I think he has to start in this one. And alongside him, we're going to go for the ever-present Eric Dyer, who's most likely to be captain on the day as well. Yeah. Um, this Eric Dyer featuring very heavily in our preseason, that worrying you a bit? No, because, it, I mean, it worries me because it's <laughs> dire, but, like, it's what else do we do expect? Yeah. Of course he is. We've got no one else. Yeah. So it doesn't surprise me. No, I'm not saying is it's, a, is it's a worry, though, that he's like our main centre-back going into the season at the moment. Of course it is. We, we, need, we know we need another centre-back. Mm. That worries me. It pisses me off that we haven't, yeah. that we haven't dealt with it already, but here we are. Uh, Left-back uh, Regulon to come in. I thought uh, Regulon had his first start of pre-season against Chelsea, um, and it was a fairly good display. Yeah, he was all right. Um, he, had, he played against, um, was it MK Dons as well? He played another game. Uh, oh yeah, that. must have been the game I didn't see. Probably yeah, MK I think Dons, it was yeah. MK Dons. He played quite well then, so it's another big season for him. He didn't have the best ever end seasons uh, at the end of last season, but I'm sure he will uh, come back. He'll be ready to prove a point, and I'm excited to see what he can do under a more offensive manager. Mm. So that's a back four so far of Matt Doherty. Uh, Roden, Eric Dyer and Regulon with Galini in goal. Uh, now let's look at the double pivot and the first player we're going to be talking about is pierre Emil Hoybier. Yep, and obviously he still played 45 minutes against Chelsea. Um, wasn't maybe up to speed, but I'm sure uh, that was with a view of getting him prepared for Man City. He's going to be a big part of our season. Hoybier had an exceptional Euros, so he has to start in this one. Mm. And alongside him in the double pivot, we've gone for Ollie Skip. I mean, it could very well be Harry Winks, uh, but we've gone for Ollie Skip. I reckon I've got a feeling it's going to be Winks, but Skip uh, Skip played ninety, did he play ninety minutes or very or eight, at least eighty mm. uh, minutes against Chelsea um, in a very accomplished accomplished display. I thought he uh, gave a good account of himself. Um, I think Winks actually though 
did come on and play quite well, I felt, um, against Chelsea. So I wouldn't, seeing as he's a more senior player, I wouldn't be surprised if he has a start in this game with a view of maybe starting against Man City. But depends how Nuno sees it. Maybe he really does he skip ahead of him right now, which uh, I wouldn't be surprised. So I've got a feeling Winks is going to start, but I wouldn't be surprised if it's skip either. Yeah, I mean, uh, Harry Winks did he did all right when he came on in the second half, but there was that one clip that oh, was pissing off a lot of fans that did the rounds on social media. Yeah, but of, it's so easy to do that for lots of any player. Yeah, of course it is, uh, but it did annoy a lot of fans. And look, we'll see what happens with it. But I've I've got a feeling Skip will play. Sim thinks Winks will play, so we'll see. Uh, we'll see what happens on the day. But I do imagine both of them will see minutes throughout the game. That's for sure. Yeah. Uh, on the right hand side of the pitch, we're going to go for Lucas Mora. I mean, he's been really good in preseason so far mm-hmm. but that Chelsea uh, game just showed um, showed us that Lucas you know what I mean one game a million a million percent brilliant and the other game just poor and I thought he was poor against Chelsea yeah although he did get on the score sheet but it was a lucky goal um, yeah he didn't have his best game at all his passing which was um, very effective in the previous preseason games getting a lot of assists and through balls um, was really off the pace um, dribbling he he cost us the first goal so He's going to have to improve on that, but I feel he, he's, I think he's going to be here this season. I don't think we're going to sell him, and hopefully Nuno can get the best out of him. And I think he's um, definitely going to be because I think right now he has to play because who's on the right hand side really? No, uh, no who no. can play? So it has to be Lucas. So um, he's definitely starting. Yeah. Um, in in the middle, we're going to go for Delhi Ali, who's also been ever present this preseason, as is Lucas and Eric Dyer. Um, it's hard to assess Delhi Ali's preseason so far. I mean, he looked good against like the the lower opposition teams, um, getting on the score sheet I think twice so far this preseason. But I think he's not really playing in his most natural position in his most favoured position so far, has he? No, left of a midfield three. That's the, We've gone for 4-3-3 three, three, and it seems as though Nuno is telling Delhi, look, you're going to have to play, you're going to have to learn and play this position regularly if you're going to get in my team and um, Delhi, I think at the moment is doing the best he can. He, As you say, against lower opposition where he's given a bit more freedom to go forward and he's given a bit more freedom, licence to get in and around the penalty area, he looked good and he looked dangerous and creative. But against Chelsea, he was pinned back a lot um, and you could see he was getting frustrated whenever mm. he got the ball in the centre of the park or near the halfway line he was trying a little tricks and stuff but it was one thing when he's doing that against lower position near the penalty area but then when he's doing that near the halfway line getting caught out of possession being a bit frustrating so I guess we'll have to wait and see how he adapts to this new role um, which I believe is going to happen over the season um, maybe he can learn from it and become a better player but it looks like he's going to have to play a bit deep and take more responsibility on the pitch if uh, he's going to be part of Nuno's team mm. Uh, left-hand side of the attack, we're going to go for Steven Bergvine. Um, I've been mm-hmm. impressed with him this uh, preseason. I really have. I think it seems as it's got the air of like Steven Bergvine has come back from the summer with a point to prove. Obviously, he was omitted from the from the uh, Dutch squad, which might have affected him quite badly. He was struggling with confidence last season. Um, it's a massive season for him, Steven Bergvine, this season, and it mm-hmm. seems as though Nuno really does uh, have the faith in him, have the trust in him. He's one of the ones that Nuno really likes, and and I'm happy about that because. I think he's shown this preseason. He's shown that he means business. I think, yeah, look, he he got on the score sheet once, uh, but I back him. I back him to be a big player for us this season, and um, I'm excited to see what he does this weekend. Yeah, I thought he was actually a bit frustrating um, in the first half against Chelsea. I thought a lot of the times he was getting on the ball but wasn't willing to take anyone on and always taking the safe option. And I was happy for him to keep plucking away and then the second half he did exactly that. He took on a player and ended up getting a goal out of it and hopefully that can breed more confidence into his game. Clearly he thrives on having confidence and being able to believe he's going to beat his fullback and um, believe that he's going to contribute in the final third. I believe he has quality. It's all about getting his men mentality right and um, as you say very big season with him especially now he's going to have more competition for his uh, for his place with uh, Hill coming in um, and obviously he's always going to be son if we get another striker so um, I like I like the look I'm liking the look of him so far in pre-season but you just want to see him do it on a consistent basis and show that he really wants to be part of the first team 
All right, and then up top, obviously, Hyung Min Son, mm-hmm. who's been on absolute fire since he's come back to pre-season. Uh, really good performance, albeit, though, against Chelsea. It uh, wasn't the best performance. I thought, actually, um, it wasn't that such a great performance. And um, a bit like Delhi actually, for pre-season, to be honest, because he's looked good against a lower opposition team, but hadn't looked good against Chelsea. But um, I think that was just a one-off for Sonny, and uh, he'll be back fit and firing against Arsenal this weekend, that's for sure. Uh, mm-hmm. So let me run through that lineup with you one more time. So it's Gallini in goal, uh, right back and Matt Doherty, left back Sergio Reglon, Dyer and Roden in the centre back positions with Skip and Hoybier in the double pivot. Bergwijn on the left, Lucas on the right, Delhi in the middle with Sonny up top. Sim, what scoreline are you going for? Ah, oh, we got to go for a win against the Gooners. <laughs> we got to go for the win. So <laughs> you didn't even go for a win against Colchester, but you no, have a win go against win. Arsenal. Going to win against the Arsenal. We're going to win 3 1. 3 1. Yeah, I mean. With the fans behind us, maybe With the a fans bit behind us. Do you think? Do you think there'll be uh, some atmosphere this week? I hope so, because it is a pre-season. I mean, yeah, like you know, at Stamford Bridge, there was a bit of atmosphere, wasn't there? I think mm. fans are just desperate, desperate to get uh, that football feel again. And mm. you know, I know it's only a friendly, but um, it always means a little something uh, when it's uh, a rivalry, when it's a derby, especially so. when there's a trophy on the line. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so I'm, I'm obviously, I'm not taking it too seriously, but um, it, we're just looking to enjoy the game, and I think Spurs. Hopefully with a tiny bit more motivation being at home to get the win. All right, I'm going to go for 2-1 to Spurs. I'm going to go for Hyun Min Son and... Stephen Bergvine to get the goals. Uh, my brother's going 3 1. You guys let me know your predicted lineups and your predicted score lines in the comments section below. We're back for a live watch long on Sunday, just before two, where Syrian and John Cooper back uh, from his break are uh, going to take you through the Arsenal game and uh, do the post match call in show as well. Uh, first time back for the brand new season. Thanks everyone for joining us today. Like, subscribe, and comment. And as always, come, come on, on, you Spurs. Spurs.